Welcome to the series where I show you some of the most surprising ways you can customize your Android smartphone. And first things first, I want to use this video to announce 12 Mr. Who's the Boss wallpapers that I've been working on. There should be one for every kind of user, some are more minimal, some are made for OLED screens, and some are just a little bit crazy, but all with that deep blue colour that's central to this channel. I'd be interested to see what setups you guys can create with these, so feel free to tag me in a tweet if you give it a go. Now, for the transparent phone effect, and you can get everything you need for this from the iFixit website. It works best when you have no or few icons on the screen, and there's a way to make it way cooler. What you do is you set an x-ray version of this wallpaper as your lock screen, and this gives the effect of being able to peer inside your phone every time you unlock. As an added bonus, it also hides the hole punch remarkably well on the S10 Plus I'm using here. Alright, let's talk about colours for a second. Colours are powerful, colours can stimulate and excite us. We are wired to respond to colour, and so subconsciously, picking colour themes for your device can impact your mood. Reds are known to increase your blood pressure and excite. You've got yellows that are comforting and warming, and you've got green that symbolises tranquility. And it's worth bearing this in mind when you're building a home screen setup. And yeah, I know, we're talking about customising an Android home screen here, so let's not get carried away. But at the same time, that is exactly what this series is about. It's about people who are passionate about building the ultimate setup on their phone. Anyways, I think this is a big reason why pastel colours have taken off recently. They're less saturated than primary colours, which makes setups that use them feel lighter, more sophisticated, and more calming. So let's start with that for a second. Just to show this idea off, I've quickly put together a pastel setup here on my S10 Plus, using the Apricity Icon Pack, the Foxy Widget, and then a wallpaper that also came with these icons. It may sound crazy, but these lighter colours could very well lead to a lighter mood. Customization goes far beyond just changing wallpapers though, and one of the coolest ways I've customised my phone recently is by installing the reachability cursor. It's activated by swiping from the edges of your screen, and it allows you to reach content in the top half of your phone, without you needing to adjust your grip. It pretty much solves the biggest problem I have with larger screen phones. It means that you can now build a home screen that looks the way you want it to, without feeling constrained to adding icons only in the bottom half. See Notice customizes your notification experience, and it's brilliant. Anytime you get a notification, you'll get this little pop-up bubble, and by tapping it, you can fully see the notification and interact with it without leaving whatever application you're in. And the notification won't disappear until you tell it to, so if you're anything like me and you want to read notifications, but still keep them there so that you can refer to them later, this is one way of doing it. Speaking of unexpected ways you can customize your Android phone, the Borderlight Live wallpaper creates a circuit of light around the edge of your display. The benefits kind of end at it looks cool, but it definitely gives a unique touch to your screenshots and has an OLED black version to offset the slight extra battery that it might drain. There's a lot of customizability here, everything from the thickness of the lighting to the corner radius and the ability to shape itself around any kind of notch your phone might have. The default colors are a little tacky, but with some tweaking and alignment with your wallpaper colour scheme, it can be quite a stunning effect. So you probably remember that crazy foldable phone Samsung just announced. Well, it's not going to get you a $2,000 device for free, but this will bring you one step closer to that experience. On the website Sam Mobile, you can download the official live wallpaper that Samsung uses. It's a video file, but actually using the application Video Live Wallpaper, you can turn that, or actually any video file, into a looping live wallpaper. And it's beautiful, but the only thing I'd say is that the effect looping again and again on your home screen can get a little much, so what I've done is just set it as my lock screen wallpaper, and then just used one of these standard static non-moving ones for my home screen. They're all on the same website. Changing your font is something most Android users just don't consider, but a new font is probably the quickest way to give your phone an instant facelift, without changing any of the UI elements. There are a ton of apps you can download that'll help you pick one, and I'll be the first to admit, 80% look pretty grim, but there are some that do offer a nice change from your default, without making it look like an 8 year old's handwriting. If you enjoyed this video, I've got a load of Android customization content, so I'll link it from this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more stuff like this. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.